Hey, it's time for Point and Shoot. This week, we take a look at food shots. Yes, we look at taking some beautiful food photos. You see it all over your social media. You see it on your Twitter. You see it on your Instagram. You see it on your Facebook. Now you're going to see it in the smartphone photographer's community. We also take a look at a little workflow from my man, Mike Sweeney, and uh, another little side project we're working on inside of the community. Check it out. Hey, folks, what's going on? Aunt Pruitt here. Hope you're doing well. I'm unbelievable as always. It's time for another hangout on the air with my wonderful, wonderful friends. I'm going to call them friends tonight. <laughs> In the smartphone photographers community. We get together friends like us who need enemies. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. We get together every week to discuss different tips and tricks that will make you a much better smartphone photographer. Because we all believe that these little devices we carry around in our pockets that's doing tweeting and Facebook posts and selfies, they are pretty daggum powerful. You just got to sort of understand what's going on behind the scenes with them and what, what can you do to pull all of that power out and get some great shots. Everybody in here can take some really nice shots with their smartphone, and you would never think it came from a smartphone. Trust me. But anyway... We get together and discuss that stuff, and we also have a weekly challenge um, for the community, and uh, we'll discuss the shots that are in there and critique them and, you know, give our little suggestions on what we would do, talk about what we like, what we dislike about them, and so on and so forth. All in all, this little hour or so hangout on air is a good session to talk about things and to help make people better at getting these photos. So I'm going to allow these guys to introduce themselves. We're going to start all the way up north in the United States here with my man, Mr. Joey Kelly. How you doing, sir? Yes, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to refute the rumor that Maine is a part of Canada. Uh, <laughs> Thank you for the confirmation, sir. It's been a state since 1826. <laughs> this has been history with Joey Kelly. Brought to you by smartphonephotographers.com. <laughs> and now, up for the weather. This weekend, we're looking at a wonderful system moving in off the Pomona coast. <clears throat> Good grief. How you doing, man? You doing all right? I am ridiculously sarcastic, as always. Um, I probably should be wearing my Sarcasm, another free service that I offer t-shirt uh, tonight, <laughs> but um, I'm not. I'm honoring the subject matter of my photograph <laughs> in the uh, challenge instead. So we'll we get can to that dig later. That. We can dig that. Appreciate you joining us tonight, my man. Next up, down in Tejas, my man, Mr. Michael King. What's going on? Not much. Nice and comfortable here. Today we today we we got up to we got all the way up to seventy nine. Oh wow, that is nice and comfortable. That's golf yeah. weather. Uh, it's also been raining like cats and dogs. You yeah, that's right still golf stop. weather. Right, and so it's been great. <laughs> Good to see you, my but man. But then by Monday, it's supposed to be up near a hundred. <laughs> yep, yeah, it is back to Texas regular weather. <laughs> Good to see you, my man. Appreciate you coming out as usual. Anytime. Lastly, my man, Mr. Mike Sweeney, out in some state known as California. How you doing? Land of the fruits and nuts. SoCal. SoCal. <laughs> Over there on the West Coast with the sun shining all through 77, his 77, baby. With 77 <laughs> stinking degrees. He's got golfing weather year-round. <laughs> oh gosh, I hate you so much, dude. Hey, we, we, had our, we had our we had three days of hot weather. We're back to picture perfect. So unbelievable. Yeah, if you it's folks have never up seen up here at nine o'clock at night, believe it or not. <laughs> if you've never, if you haven't seen our hangouts before, go back and look at our previous hangouts, and you always notice my man Mike Sweeney with a nice, bright lit room, and he always has on a good old Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> Because <laughs> that's how he rolls. And in honor of Mr. Mike Sweeney, I decided to go with a Hawaiian shirt myself. And no, and no this will not be happening again. It will go back. To, <laughs> this will go back to the T-shirt and whatever else I normally wear. This is definitely not it. I'm folks. glad to see you dressed up for the occasion. Jeez, oh, it's killing me. Anyway, it's good to see oh, you, my man. Oh, Sweeney. 
Uh oh, yeah, 77. There you go. Good weather down there, too. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. Um, last week's challenge was, well, I shouldn't say last week. The previous challenge was won by my man, Mike Sweeney, here tonight. And that means he was he was tasked with proposing a new challenge for the community. So he decided to um, challenge us ever so slightly with a food challenge, you know? And I like that idea because everybody eats for the most part. Um, so you had ample opportunity to take take photos of your Three of times food. a day. But you did have a couple uh, uh, parameters involved, right? Yes, sir. Which were? No snapshots. No snapshots. From from what I got out of it, he said, I want you to take this photo and make me want to eat what you're capturing there. You make know what us I'm saying? Want. You know, make make us want want what's on that picture there. So you had to if you didn't have some type of creative plating or what have you, you had to do something else with your photography skills. I, I, we're talking in my lighting, opinion. we're talking plating, we're talking arrangements. Exactly. Play with exactly. the colors. You had to do a little work on it. So it was it was when you first saw it, you think, Oh, it's easy, but you know what? I could take yeah, a snapshot of a biscuit, and it's just a snapshot of a biscuit. So, anyway, we're going to go ahead and do a screen share and take a look at some of the shots that were presented by our community members. If I can figure out how to do a screen share, I've only done this for two years. I think I know by now. All right. Click share. All right. Hopefully, you folks see my screen. Yeah? No? Yeah, I'd like to say I thought we got some really good shots this time. Yep, we definitely did. Some people put some put some work in these things, like we said, with the lighting and presentation and so forth. Now, hold on, before I screen share. Recently, Alphabet, I'm not going to call them Google anymore, Alphabet <laughs> decided <laughs> to um, <laughs> they decided to do some updates with Google Hangouts and um I believe they did some other updates within the Google Plus mobile app and a couple other things, which oh, meant, yeah. which meant this week's uh, event was wonky when people tried to upload their photos. There was a lot of people that tried to upload their photos and they couldn't. It, they were getting errors that said it was uploaded in the background and you'd never see it. Or on the other hand, someone like myself or another member, Miss Essence Vibes, uploaded our photos come back two days later, it's gone. Gone. And what's funny is somebody commented on my shot originally. I know they commented on it, and I go back in there today just to double-check all of the scores and whatnot, and my photo was gone. So, yep. I'm sorry to those that uploaded and, and their photos disappeared, and I'm sorry to those that couldn't get their photos uploaded at all. Um, yeah. I'm sure I actually, I, I, I could not get Google Plus to work on my phone to upload images. I had to take my images, email them to my desktop, and then upload them. That's how I ended up doing it. Was, it. it was just nuts. I, yeah, I just pulled it from Drive or something like that from the desktop and, and then <laughs> uploaded it from the desktop. It, was, it wasn't cool. I got I to gotta say, even prior to this, I personally have had a lot of issues fighting with the mobile app for Google Plus, I just on on Android no less, which you right. would think would be yeah, they're, they're the own, their own sandbox and they can't get it to work right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, if if Apple were to come out with their own social network, you would think it would it would naturally work better on an iPhone. Yeah, uh, you know, so that, yeah. Uh, yeah. didn't. Never well, changed. I said think. Uh, you know, I didn't say would. I Have mean, you heard of iCloud? It still don't work right. It's not a social network. But anyway, oh, okay. I, you know, but my point being that you know you would think Google Plus, the Google service, would work better on a Google operating system. Hello. Um, but I, I just I, I've been consistently unimpressed, particularly when you compare it with, say, for instance, the other big social network, Facebook, which incidentally I find much more easy and intuitive to post to. So. Right. It's I, I'm you know I'm, I'm I'm comparing apples to apples here. Two social networks doing the same thing. Sometimes posting the same photo because I've got you know it up in the in the uh, smartphone photographers community and I've got it on my friends list over on Facebook. So yep. I'm not even talking about different images and it's point 
tap, 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 done Facebook yep. and tap, fight, tap, fight, tap, fight, tap, fight. Eventually I feel like I'm taking a tap dancing class before I can <laughs> finally get the dang thing on the, on the Google Plus to the point where I basically blow it off and post from a PC. Well, we, we like to hope the folks at Alphabet will get this thing squared away sooner or, rather than later. But, or yeah, don't get lost in your dictionary. But, yeah, or we'll just we'll just hold it. We won't hold our breath. That's what I'll say. Right. We won't we'll say, hold our breath. Or the other is they're getting everybody so uh, frustrated and sick of it, they're going to drop it so they can make it easier to get rid of uh, Google Plus. Yeah, or that's Alphabet, a thought too. Or Alphabet Plus. <laughs> that's a thought too. All right, so let me go ahead and pull my screen back up. I just had to get that apology out to the community. Thank you, that Google. Even though it's not my fault. Or Alphabets. All right, so screen share is coming back up now. Please confirm seeing my screen, gentlemen. And yep. visible. All right, great. So we're going to pick through a couple of the, the photos submitted. We had uh, 19 photos uh, that were submitted for the challenge. Thank you, community, for your participation, as always. So I'm going to go random here. Uh, let's see. First, let's pick on Christine. All right, you guys see that okay? Yep. I like this image. Yep. I like this shot from Mr. Chris. Uh, this is a Galaxy S6 um, that he used to take this shot and did his processing inside of the one and only Snapseed. What do I like about this shot? The way it's lit. Um, I'm looking at it. It looks like it's definitely shot outside because of what's going on in the background there. But... I'm trying to figure out the light sources. Uh, I'm assuming the sun shining is right here on this side. But it, it also looks like there's a little bit of, I don't know, I guess you can call that a highlight. Is that what that is? Of the, of the three sources yes. of light? Right. So it looks like it's got a highlight going over on this side too. It looks really, really crisp as far as um, the clarity on it. And the colors are great. And it makes me want to just grab this little chili right here. <laughs> Very, very you, well done. Not me. A, a simple, it's a very, very simple shot, but it's executed quite nicely, Chris. Mm. Uh, anything I would have done differently? Um, I don't know. Not, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Nope, I can't think of anything. What do you guys think? Go ahead, uh, Mr. King. What are your thoughts? Well, it's not bad. I'm just not a big fan of vegetables because I'm not a big vegetable eater, but it's a nice shot. But I do like some of the peppers <laughs> and everything, but it, I just love the way it's done. It's just all done nicely. Anything you'd have done differently? Maybe I had uh, a cup of some, some fish. Uh, maybe a, uh, <laughs> a, uh, maybe, maybe uh, in there a uh, fish fillet getting ready to go on the grill. So maybe a poor, words, big pork chop. Shot. Jeez. Put a pork chop in there with it. Good gosh. Okay, right. so Mike Swing, Mike King's uh, easy way to lose weight: become a vegan. He'll just die. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness. What do you think, Mr. Kelly? Um, I actually want to give a huge shout out to the consistently great, but always nice to see work from Chris. Um, mm -hmm. he, I, I every almost. Every single shot I see from him, I there is some part of it that I'm impressed. Yeah. And in this particular one, the thing that I absolutely love about this shot is that the conventional wisdom is that you shoot with the light. Mm -hmm. This is not only shooting into the light, but it's also shooting cross it. Cross the light. So, it, I mean, if you look at it from a lighting perspective, it's actually lit from the top right-hand corner of the frame, and mm -hmm. it's bringing down in, which is why you've got that highlight on the cucumber on the left and on the basket handle on the left. Mm -hmm. um, I, I can't think of anything that I would have done differently. Um, if he had tried to put any more of a post-process on it, you know, do some sort of effect, I think that would have ruined it. It's a... You know, I mean, if you'd made this a black and white, that would have just killed it. You know what I mean? It, it, this mm -hmm. the shot is about the variety of color. Um, indeed, I, indeed. Yeah, I, I can't see anything that I would have personally done differently, and I'm waiting for Sweeney to call me an ignorant photographer. Joey, I got to tell you, this is two weeks in a row. I agree with you, man. 
Write it down, someone. Up. Write it down. <laughs> Two weeks in a row. What are your thoughts, Mr. Sweeney? Well, aside from my ignorant companion there, <laughs> <laughs> as he as he sprays his microphone. <laughs> Not when I'm drinking, dang it. <laughs> you notice how I waited before I said that, yeah? Yeah. Not right, dude. Not right at all. <laughs> I've known he wasn't right all, th all the time. All that being oh, right I, is... I, I thought it was pretty punny, but... Uh, we'll <laughs> Anyways, back to the task at hand. Yeah, what's um, your thoughts? First, love the lighting. Mm -hmm. Lighting can make or break any image. I don't care how good the composition is, don't care what it is. If you screw up the lighting, it doesn't matter. So Amen. Chris nailed the lighting on this. Yeah. With that said, mm -hmm. if, if 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 I were looking at this image and judging it, I would I would ding him for having you got all the carrots, which are kind of a, a long tubular look, orange. Mm -hmm. And then you go and you use the zucchinis, which are green and tubular. And then you got the chili peppers, which are green and tubular, except for the two in the middle. Mm -hmm. I would want to see different texture, different shapes, actually. So I'd find some tomatoes, which would be red, or some other little? type of, of vegetable, because tomatoes are fruit, but you can argue that later. Of course. And kind of mix it up a little bit with the shapes. He, he had it going with the peppers in the middle, with the hab habanero in the middle. I'm going, man, there's some really great texture here, but it's the only one. You know, mm -hmm. I, I want something a little different than the long, straight, skinny lines. Uh, but that's just, you know, it's a gripe. So maybe something like a, a, a red onion in there or something. Onion. Something. Or he may not even have tomatoes there. Something to complement the color of the orange, because you got this really great orange going on. And you got the green on top of the orange, but then you kind of got green on the left, and you got the green in the background. You know, you, you need some something else there to kind of balance it out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me just make sure I understand, though, uh, though Sweeney, um, being coming from the ignorant side of the coin, uh, you're. <laughs> you're <laughs> Well said, Joey. Well said. I'm just going to have to get a t shirt that just says Mike Sweeney says I'm ignorant. Anyway. Uh, or maybe I should get one that says Sweeney is my president. Um, yeah. Mine's going to say Joey's worst nightmare. <laughs> Nice. If we all get T-shirts in the mail from Ant for Christmas that say this mm -hmm. on there, we're all gonna have to wear them. You know anyway, uh, <laughs> um, so your your comment is not a technical problem with the photograph, but it's, it's a stylistic. Context, it's a stylistic, stylistic or or content of the yes. photograph comment. Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, no, no I just want to make sure we're all on the same page. Technical, the yeah, which is, good, which is just a preference. Awesome. We've got great lighting. It's, just, it's I, just a preference. That's all. You know, actually, after you said that, I can see exactly where you're coming from because the where does the background stop and start does kind of blend in with the zucchinis in the front and whatnot. And it, I, I, I see where you're coming from now that you've said that. So perhaps I am now becoming educated. <laughs> Good stuff, Mr. Seen. Keep keep doing what you're doing, man. I are an educated photographer. <laughs> I are. I are. Oh gosh! All right, so let's pick on another one here. There was one from Where'd it go? 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 There it is. This one from Sweeney. <laughs> Speaking of, let's pick on let's pick on Mike Sweeney here. All go right. right he uh, can't cook, that's for sure. No. Nope. Frozen meals, man. That's all I do. I'm looking at this, and why the heck is a phone ringing in my house? Come on now. Don't y'all know I'm recording? Seriously. All right, so Sorry, I'm, nobody I'm home. looking at this Call back. What I do like about it is the way you try to, to pre present it with the angles here. Because um, I, I guess this is a chicken wing or a leg quarter. What is that? Yeah, that's a chicken, I guess they call it a quarter. Mm -hmm. Thigh quarter. Leg. So I, I, you get that leg quarter with its, its, it's got an automatic angle right there, period. And you just went to work with it with the way you put your peppers down in there. I like that a lot. Um, I would have maybe moved this pepper down a little more, but but yet at the same time, I like the fact that we have a, a little bit of green on the stem showing. Um, 
detail of it, lovely, beautiful. Lighting, great. So I, I can't knock it too much. Not too much. Maybe that I would have tried to shoot at a, at a slightly um, more straight-on angle, like move down, shoot it across instead of shooting above it. You know what I mean? I, you know, I, I tried that, and it with the texture of the chicken on top, mm-hmm. it just didn't it didn't work for me. You lose it, you lose some of the texture because of the way the light hits it. Yeah, from that angle. it was kind of weird. Um, the lighting's from a window, and it was kind of flat. So uh-huh. I, you know, getting sh- in fact, you even see with the peppers, it, it was really tough to get shadows. Mm-hmm. I so. got to tell you though, Sweeney, the there are sometimes I like to take photos of objects um, and put them and I put them in front of the window because the sunlight seems to be a, the best source for me. Well, at least at one time it was. Um, and sometimes just the light looks just so much better compared to what the room light would look like. Yeah. You know, because okay. a lot of the room bulbs will be sort of a yellowish tint, you know, unless you got decent bulbs. But the sunlight always came out a little better for me. Yeah, the, the other thing I'll tell the, the folks looking at this is if, if I had shot this picture just by holding the camera and taking the picture, the exposure mm-hmm. would have been way off because right. the, um, the, uh, the automatic exposure was seeing the light coming off the white plate mm-hmm. and trying to dim it. Dim it. Uh-huh. So you, you had to slide the exposure up a little bit to uh, tell the camera not to be so stupid. Of course. On the smart phone yes <laughs> what are your thoughts mr king first of all he overcooked it <laughs> it was tandoori it's supposed to be charcoal hmm, okay i don't i don't i just don't like my chicken that dark but other than that it's not bad <laughs> i guess king is never going to move to cajun country boy you got that right hmm. oh i've yes. lived in new orleans new orleans i love my sh- Fish that dark. I like black and red fish. But anyway, the shot. So, <laughs> anything you'd have done differently outside of the actual content? The, the I like itself. it. You know, I like it. It um, everything's just well done. We, but what do you expect for Mr. Uh, for a professional photographer? <laughs> I was a hungry oh, photographer. Oh, he can he can get ding. Trust me. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> He had, took, he had another one that looks like it didn't look good. I voted for this one, but he had another one of his actually cooking it. Mm-hmm. Eh. Wasn't impressive. All right. This Mr. Really Kelly. Good. Um, I have to admit, I Here was expecting more from Mike. I just, I don't know what I was expecting. I was just expecting more. Mm-hmm. I, I, you, you let me down, Sweeney. Uh, mm mm-hmm. I, I like I say I have no idea what I was expecting, but I was expecting more than this. Well, uh, and, in, in all honesty, though, I I think my my initial impression was, oh, this is exactly what he said not to do. Just take a snapshot of the plate. Then mm-hmm. when you mentioned, okay, well, it was bouncing light off the white plate, and and you had to fight with the exposure control. I went, okay, all right, well, that's that's probably true. And if you're shooting from a window and have low light, that's a very different. But the way it's lit, it almost looks like you put it in a light box. And, yep. and 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 use it. the way it's I'm just saying that's the way it looks. I'm, I understand that that's not the case, but that's the way it looks. It that's almost impressive. looks, yeah, it almost looks like a like a product shot uh, mm-hmm. from for a, a professional uh, tandoori chickener. Yeah, for uh, a chef. That's what I said. He, I called him professional. That's what I was getting at. You, um, Joey, I I think I feel where you're coming from when you said you expected something else. You and him have had discussions for at least two weeks now, two hangouts now, about the approach of, uh, what do you call it, documentary, documentary style documentary versus artistic. Versus yeah. the artistic. Right. And, and I, I mean, it might be a psychological thing, but when you say Mike Sweeney in your head and you look at a Mike Sweeney photo, you're already expecting, you know, some some processing to a nth degree versus, you know, something that's just a flat landscape and using the regular light and colors that are already there kind of thing. Am I right? Exactly. I want to see something that looked so bad before he used the dehaze filter that after he used the dehaze filter and the, the, the whole universe. I got news for you. When I started this picture, Joey, that chicken was raw. That's all Photoshop. <laughs> 
<laughs> it took him that long just to sun cook it. <laughs> Did you like to see the before and after? <laughs> you know, the man doesn't even own a grill. He just has a camera flash. And he just starts flashing it. This is the whole world. I'm telling you, it's pretty amazing what you can do with brushes in Photoshop. <laughs> you can really Stop. use brushes for this one. <laughs> Next, he'll tell me he's developed a new Photoshop tool, the Sweet Baby Rays filter. Oh, that's um, right. Yeah. That's, that's this pretty sharp. This is the black and chicken preset. You can buy them. <laughs> 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 right. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Ooh, you know anything you've done differently with this shot, man? Um, I have to admit, I, I, I kind of was nodding a little bit uh, mentally, if not physically, when you were saying about shooting a little bit lower and on. Uh, but then upon further reflection, I can see it from Mike's point of view where he tried it and didn't like it because he lost the texture of the chicken. So I, I, I think I probably would have tried that and then gone exactly the way that Mr. Sweeney did. Yeah. There's um, actually about, there's about seven to ten pictures in sequence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, trying different things, and the other thing to remember is this is a square crop. Uh -huh. So this was done intentionally and intentionally composed to put on Instagram, because right. how you arrange things for a uh, more of a wide aspect picture will change versus trying to make it a square. That's true. Hmm. That's so true. you got to think about when, when you're thinking about your whole process and you're looking at how you're going to do your picture, you know, just because you get it perfect at eight by ten doesn't mean it's going to translate well into Instagram. I have found that sometimes I actually have to take my pictures two different ways to get good results depending where I'm going. Right. Good well, call. I mean, it, to to be fair, the the function does have to follow the form to an extent. To an extent. Um, to an extent. So yeah, I, I I see where you're coming from. So I honestly, I, in all seriousness, Mike, um, with like if if I had taken that shot, I would be totally impressed um, with myself. So <laughs> you're always like impressed with yourself. Well, I'm all, yeah, okay. Fine, I'd be impressed with my photography. <laughs> all right. By the way, we you better write me a another will for all these insults. Uh, <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna take a look at another shot here. We're gonna look at my man Luke Fabrazier, I believe is his name. Luke Fabreza, hopefully. Sorry if I mispronounced your name. Uh, I remember this was one of the first shots to come in. Yep. I, I didn't vote for it because I was wanting oh, I to did. wait, but now I will vote, um, even though he's not going to count as the winner. So, no, I'll just take that away. I'll take that back. Um, I didn't vote for it originally because I sort of wanted to wait around and, and, and do my votes a little bit later after I saw a little more. But I like this photo from the... Uh, um, I guess you can say a balance standpoint because he's he's working with the circle here and <clears throat> the fact that he didn't put this piece of asparagus right here versus over here, I like that. Because think of just how weird that would have looked right there with this so, if this was moved out. This you know, this is a this is a classic stuff. cooking magazine shot. Mm -hmm. Which I just thoroughly loved. Mm -hmm. Nice. I mean, he's worked with everything that he's got there. Everything is nice and balanced out. I mean, I can care less about, okay, the bacon isn't cooked enough. Whatever. I, Look like he's cooking. cooking. <clears throat> just the I, fact I that he's got... I was about that, but that's just because I like crispy bacon. Yeah, I, yeah. Mm -hmm. see, I get that. But I, I like the idea that he's got here, and I like how green this asparagus is. It, 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 it really pops out. Um, he's cooking it on the stove, but None of this stuff really gets my attention in the background. My attention is all inside of the pan here. So, Luke, great freaking job. What did you use here? HTC One M8. All right. Let's see. I guess I have uh, Okay. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't. He didn't put any other extra details in there. But nicely done. What would you guys have done differently? Go ahead, uh, Mr. Kelly. Well, or first of all, I like the first. It? I like the first comment on it, how to stop vegetarians from stealing your asparagus. <laughs> um, that's quite correct. That is um, brilliant. The, yeah, the, the other thing about this this shot is it brings up uh, a comment. Uh, I get a little static on my cell phone once from my uh, um, uh, conversation with my ex-wife, uh, ex and, and, and I could have sworn she said, I want to have a pair of guys named Gus tonight. 
and it was I want to have a spirit. Wife. And, ooh, notice I said ex-wife. Ram uh, side. Uh, <laughs> Good boom, grief, boom. dude. Um, I've been saving that asparagus joke. You don't know how long ago I came up with that. I've been holding that. Um, and you could have waited but, even longer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, I didn't want to lay everything out on the veggie table. Nice. Um, uh, lay it out on the chopping block. Yeah, yeah that would work dope. too. I mean, you know, the whole thing could be hammed up. Um, <laughs> but. Anyway. Uh, the only comment that I would make about uh, Sweeney's comment about it being a classic cooking shot, I agree. The only thing that, to me, prevents it from being the quote-unquote classic uh, cooking shot is that it's not I, – I picture the classic cooking shot as being more directly lit from the top. Nope. Uh, th that's just the way I picture it. I could be wrong. Yeah. And, and, and I see you know, you know why you're wrong? Why you're ignorant? Oh, great. <laughs> well, think about it, Joey. How many lights are over a grill? How many lights are over no, a No, 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 no. I, I know what Joey's saying. I know what he's saying because typically and when you're doing a product shot, you do bring the light in overhead. Yep. But, but in a shot like this, you'll want to bring up that texture, and you're not going to get that with an overhead light. Mm -mm. you got to go cross point. lighting. Good point. Yeah, but I, to me, it feels like the base of the pan is very dark. Um, is what you want you, because it oh, contrasts with the bacon, which in yeah. turn contrasts with the green. The green, the green. Okay, all right, fine. I'm ignorant. Now, uh, you, but you, uh, you're doing, uh, with you, doing a cooking show where you're mm -hmm. showing a technique completely different. Then you want it as flat lit as you can, so right. the people watching can see, you know, what's happening in the pan, what's happening to the meat. You know, so on right. and so forth. That that's kind of I think that's where I'm coming from, is that I, I'm going okay. I want to show the sizzle, literally. Right, right. I want to you be want able to see the bubbles the sizzle, on the side. You know, and and you can't do that with the side light. Um, no, no. This know, is so, this is more of a product shot. Okay. All right. For cooking yeah. magazine. Yeah. From from that standpoint, I guess I would I would have to agree with default to the master. Um, uh, and, and his, you, know. you can bow to my feet after the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Me, me, small grasshopper. Um, <laughs> but uh, now, a, a very well done shot. Um, I do like the way he's carefully arranged, and it, a lot of thought went into this, despite the fact that it doesn't look like a lot of thought went into it. Um, and that's part of it. It looks organic, but I'm yep. sure there was a lot of laying out and, and pre prepping and, and whatnot right. to get everything it, in the right just, order. It just didn't fall into the pan like this. <laughs> Heck no. No, no, no. no. no I, I, I can see that. But it but it looks like it did, which makes the feeling all, all that much better. So yeah, I would say magic. great shot. Yeah. yeah. And and with the exception of maybe moving the lighting and then probably moving it back because I would look at the picture and go, crap, Sweeney's right, uh, <laughs> I, I would probably not have done anything differently. Yeah. What are your thoughts, Mr. King? Well, it's just missing a few things. A little garlic butter here and there, and a little bit of um, melted cheddar cheese. And I'll be ready for the, I'll be right over there for eating because <laughs> I love garlic. I, mean, I love uh, asparagus done like this, but with a little <laughs> cheese and a little bit of uh, garlic butter on it. Well, 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 outside of your belly, we That's talking what I said about, we're talking about shot. from your from your photography it's standpoint. For, it's a perfect uh, shot yeah. for. Uh, <laughs> For a, a very classy um, uh, gourmet magazine, it's excellent. Everything's done perfectly. It shows everything. You know, it's not. This is not like a cooking show shot. This is a gourmet magazine shot. Now, and it, it's beautiful. Something, something else. Go back, Ant. We're not done. Something <laughs> else that nobody, nobody noticed. And I'm just kind of sitting here waiting and waiting. What do you see on the sides of the pan? You've got two really strong diagonal lines from from the cooktop, which actually center the pan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, when when you do a shot like this, everything comes into play. You know, I I give them that, but I, I yep. will I will openly admit when I was looking at this, and I think I said it a few minutes ago, I didn't necessarily pay attention to the background because all of my attention was inside of this black here. Mm -hmm. That's light, because light the lines drew, drew your eye to it. 
Yeah, I like I like the black and I like what was going on. This is like the the first thing I saw. I was like, why did he put this small one right here? Why didn't he put it over here? Oh, because it would have looked weird. This yeah, is definitely would have looked weird. It's perfect with the balance yeah. there. That Luke, was my Luke thought. Did a great on job. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. All right, Luke. We're done with your shot. We're gonna look at one more before we look at the winning shot. I want to pick on one of mine because I I'm I was quite proud of it. And this is the thing that didn't it didn't show up until I uploaded it again a little while ago. That gun it. But um I shot this with my Nexus six and I had fun with it. This was uh last Friday night and the family wanted burgers. Bacon. I, I wanted burgers too, but I didn't want regular burgers, so <laughs> I made some bacon burgers. But at the same time, I decided to just have fun with this food shot and do a little bacon garnish and the whole cheese and so forth. And uh, just went to work inside of Lightroom, inside of Snapseed a little bit, and back to Lightroom Mobile so I can push it over to Google Drive and all of that good stuff, you know. But this is my shot. From a Nexus 6, I called it No Veggies. <laughs> <laughs> Except the tomato. That's well, of course, that's a fruit. It's yeah, a fruit. all right, fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dumb, dumb question. What is Das? <laughs> anyway, and so, what is Da Sauce? The sauce. The sauce. I, well, at one time, I was selling barbecue sauce. I'd make it here at my home and I would jar it up and I was selling it and sending it to people all over the place and it was a nice little gig but I've run out of hours in a day <laughs> to do that so I haven't done it in about maybe a year or so but I still make the sauce for just uh, in small little batches for stuff like this just for, for dinner that night you know I can't think of the last time I actually bought barbecue sauce from somewhere yeah. hey, hey, um, dude, dude barbecue sauce lover <laughs> Give you my if I if I ever make a big vat of it again, I will I will can some and ship some to you, Joey. But no promises are being made, sir. Doesn't need to be doesn't need to be a big batch batch. You know, one of those <laughs> one gallon mason jars will do. That'll be fine. Yeah, see, you're um, really talking a lot. I, I I used to sell them by the quart. <laughs> okay, that'll work. That'll work. Not quart, but pint. Sorry, pints. Oh, pint. Okay. Pint. Yeah, pint. Pint. Mm -hmm. Pints just a taste. That was enough. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that, that reminds me, I was at the Ben and Jerry's factory years ago, and they, they had the showcase of all the different sizes of ice cream that they make, and they had these little tiny ones. And somebody said, what the heck is that? And they said, well, we had a request to make a single serving one. And I mm -hmm. said, you already do. It's the quart. Yeah. Amen, brother. <laughs> that's right. When you need this small dinky thing for, that's a bite. No, that's what that's what keeps them coming back. That's how I looked at it. How um how would you guys attack this shot here? Let me hear your thoughts. We'll start with you, Mr. Tejas. Mr. King, you there? Yeah. I'm thinking. You're up. <laughs> You're yeah, up. It looks good. Huh. Well, thank yeah, you. I like it. Um. I'm just not I now on hamburgers. I'm not a big fan of tomatoes. I, I'll take a lot of lettuce, but not tomatoes. But ooh, it looks good. Is that pepper jack cheese? <laughs> that Swiss cheese. Notice ah, the little, even better. The little, hole, the little hole right there. I turned the burger so you can see a little hole in the cheese. Oh, that's, that looked like that was just melting. But hey, that looks good. And I know I make my own barbecue sauce too. So uh, that a boy. <laughs> oh, I live in Texas. Wait, what do you expect? <laughs> this is true. This is true. Hi, hi, hi Mike. I I, I, I I use barbecue sauce up here. Hi. <laughs> He's looking for some some samples. Is what it says. Well, I'm just saying. I use all kinds of other places. I'm actually talking about special ordering some from a guy in Connecticut that makes it at his own deli. Yeah, that's what's oh. up. Yeah. But that's I like it. Up. I like it. It it looks good. Well, thank you. I Mr. just don't have I just don't have time to cook like that around here. My, I don't either. Food, trust me. My food, <laughs> uh, my food doesn't look. It's not. Uh, it looks. It's, it's edible and it tastes good, but it just. It's not photogenic. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, which is still just fine, my man. Mister Sweeney, your thoughts? You need some side lighting, dude. Yep, you are. Right. I was just about to scream that out. You are. You are a hundred percent right. You got. You got Joey's overhead lighting. 
and no mm-hmm. side lighting. Nope. You're 100 percent right. And it sucked. I had to um I remember in the processing of the shot, I had to adjust the brightness just to try to get some of the detail to come out over here. Yep. And change and change the contrast a little bit. I, I actually decreased the contrast some to try to get a little detail to come out on this particular burger here. I didn't worry so much over here because I knew I was going to crop in pretty tight, but I wanted this to come out a little more so, so we could see that. So we're going to we're going to delve into a little psychology here. Go ahead. It, especially when you're dealing with food. Mm-hmm. Um one, I can't smell the bourbon from the sauce, but that's a different discussion. <laughs> <laughs> but the uh you know, when you, you got the lighting on the bun good, you got the sauce lit well, you got the cheese where it's not blown out white. I'm all mm-hmm. over that. But pasty orange tomatoes don't do a thing to uh-huh. make them appealing for me. Should be a little more red. They should be red, and all and right. you'll find you'll find that when they do these kind of shoots professionally. Yep. They'll, they'll dye the tomatoes if they have to, or they change it up in post. But they make sure they're red, because. Nice. Even though you can't buy one in, in a store like that, much yeah. less grow one, yeah, it's what people want to see in the picture. Right. Sure. You know, we've been trained over the years that you get a red tomato. Tomato. That's a red tomato. Wow. You know, that this is, is, a, an orange tomato. This a red is what we get in the stores, which are right. tasteless and colorless. Yep. Good point, sir. Good point. But, you know, I would, I would kind of do something with that, but it, that side lighting is really killing it for me. Mm-hmm. Definitely need it. Definitely in your opinion, it. Sweeney, would a, a would a, a reflector panel or even just a piece of like white card piece stock or construction paper or something piece would that help? Tinfoil. Tinfoil? Okay. Tinfoil. And the reason I suggest the tinfoil over just a piece of white paper is the tinfoil would give a harder light, which would really show off the texture of the burger. Mm-hmm. Mm. And the other thing, Ant, is I, I might have just stuck with a single burger. Okay. You know, mm. showcase one burger, get in really tight, and show off all that great detail. Okay. I dig it. Just, just like, just like the movie Falling Down, where he shows the burger on the on the sign and says, "This is not what you sold me." As he gets this squashed thing from the camera. Ah. <laughs> Mm. Good point. Good point. Well, I'll definitely consider that next time I make Aunt Pruitt burgers and the sauce. Definitely. Mr. Kelly, your thoughts? Um, Besides what Sweeney already said, which was the the single burner, burger comment, I think sticks out in my brain, honestly. Because mm-hmm. to right. me... the no, not the bourbon. I, I don't drink, so, you know, uh, then that doesn't do anything for me one way or another. Yeah, all um, burns off. Yeah. Well, I've been told that actually you can do some serious sauces with moonshine, um, but I I don't know. I've never done it. I've been told sure that it can, go there. it's a lot harder. It's a lot harder. It, that, that alcohol lingers. You really yeah, are patient yeah. with it. I've tried it. Trust me. <laughs> they also say it works well, really well with eggnog, and I, yeah, I don't know, little, I mean, little ever clear in eggnog. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, lightning! Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, white lightning, my foot, white, no, white, <laughs> myself into a tree. Anyway, but um, the uh, my my only comment would be that because of the lighting, mm-hmm. you had to go, or the camera went with a very narrow depth of field. Uh-huh. Um to compensate for the lack of light. So as a result, you've got one burger, one half of one burger that is almost in perfect. I'm sorry. You have essentially one burger that's in perfect focus, but it's one half of the one on the left and it's one half of the one on the right. Mm -hmm. So what are the, back to my comment about sticking with one burger. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That was going to be my comment was that, uh, that, that that would have solved it. Yep. Or I feel like you could have cropped as far in as maybe the um, uh, taking the right hand side frame and come in maybe as far as either the tip of the cheese. Um, oh, here comes the smartphone dot text. There's our special crop tool. Can't crop without it. 
Don't try this kind of cropping technique at home, folks. Uh, keep going to the left, Ant. Right on the tip of the cheese. Tip of the cheese. Right there. There you go. Um, and that, yeah. to me, looks... Now, that looks yeah. worse, but if you came in from the left and made it a square as well, that might work better. I don't know. I think Squeenie's comment of the single burger was probably the best idea. Uh, but... I want you to fly a single burger. No. 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 Nah. Nah, no, nah, that looks worse. Nope. 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 Yeah. You know, the okay. other thing, Never and mind. the other thing you might want to consider, and and this this <laughs> I've actually gotten yelled at by the family because uh -oh. I would be trying to compose my food for a picture while they're <laughs> waiting to be fed. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you you might want to take the burger and kind of push it out. Um, just in front of the cheese, so you can see the edge of the burger. See, the more, see more of the meat there. See more of the meat, because let's be honest, it's not the cheese that's the star; it's the meat. Uh -huh. Right. Good point. Good Question point. The hangout is making me hungry. Yes, I know. I haven't had dinner yet. I'm regretting this. Oh, well, <laughs> so I, I just gotta do a chicken and mashed potatoes and green beans. Oh, stuff it! Jeez. You're not oh. helping, King. <laughs> And it's also, we still had leftover homemade ice cream. So we're going oh, to mute this dude. Just keep it up. <laughs> all right. That's it. We're all flying to Texas to Mike's place. I want to, we'll go ahead and take a look at our winning shot here. I loved it. <laughs> I loved I, it too. I, I, freaking, <laughs> I freaking love her shot. <laughs> Shout out to the winner, Miss Essence Vibes. Her, um... Oh, man. <laughs> I, I like I like this, you know. I, I, I'm going to assume she's got a piece of food in her mouth or what have you. It, I don't it, care it, if she it, does or not. It's perfect. Right. It's it doesn't perfect. matter. It's it doesn't perfect. even matter at this point. This shot is is really Classic. nicely done. Um, I like the fact that she actually did a little. Uh, psychedelic border around it like that. I think that gives it a little more a little more interest to it, but this is this is done. I like I like what she was thinking there. It was pretty clever. Oops, nah, that I shot is all about it. the brows, man. It's like Eugene <laughs> Levy. It's all yes. about the brows. Yeah, this this is this is well this, done. This, well this, thought this out. Classic. Wow. I think she uses a one of the Samsung devices. I think she uses one of the mini Samsungs. Um she doesn't mention any of her processing on it, but who cares? I, I, I wouldn't change a thing on it. Good job, Essence. You guys, your thoughts. Go ahead, King. <laughs> oh, when I saw it, I said, oh, with, with us, uh, with our uh, prank shots, this one was the best, was it? Oh, this one is the e best. I would have done a thing, changed it. It's perfect. Just the expression on the face as well. You know, That's what I wanted. The expression on her face and the fact that she still has it in her mouth, hiding in the way, you are curious. Like, well, what was she eating? I want some now. You know, I, I, right. I this is the whole that. thing is just classic. <laughs> I mean, when I saw that, I have to stop laughing when I saw this. This was perfect. <laughs> What are your thoughts, Mr. Kelly? I got to admit, I might have cropped it a little bit tighter, and I might have spelled oops differently. Mm -hmm. um, but um, by tighter, I mean up from the bottom a little bit. Uh -huh. But um, I, I, frankly, you couldn't ask for a better facial expression. Yes. You couldn't ask for a better caption, honestly. <laughs> um, I... I it, it, I'm really glad for once that a prank shot got it because we're a whole bunch of sarcastic wackos, yeah. and I just love that fact. Y'all are. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. And Andy, right. you're yeah, so right. dry. <laughs> right. Big yeah. Yeah, you, you realize, Ant, that people watch us not just for the photography but for the entertainment factor. I'm pretty yeah. sure of it. <laughs> and, you're, and Ant, when pigs fly... You were a serious photographer. Yeah, yeah. right. Mm -hmm. I know this. <laughs> uh, i got to also say this might be, I may be wrong, but this might be the shortest time from entry f to community to winning a contest. Yeah, she, she's fairly new and already winning one. That's, that well, is impressive. Three weeks, I think. Two weeks, maybe. That is impressive. That is impressive. What are your thoughts, Mr. Sweeney? 
Well, when I when I see this, I like it, but I also have a uh, a vision of Putty Tat and Tweety. Yeah. <laughs> with, with the feathers sticking out. So I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of wishing there's a little bit of lettuce sticking out or something. You know? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. I saw a putty cat. That's <laughs> awesome, man. Good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> All right. Well, Essence, congratulations to you. I'm going to turn off my screen share now. And um, I will be reaching out to you here soon to, to let you know you won the, the challenge and you are tasked with picking a new challenge. So um, look out for that message. And, uh, again, congratulations. And thank you to the community for – such a pretty fun challenge and all of your participation. It was a lot of good shots in there. All right. We're going to move along before we get out of here. And we want to, I want to look at some um, workflow from a man, Mike Sweeney that, um, okay, let me do this. How do I want to do this first? Let's see. I don't know. How do you want to do this? Let's see. Where is that right there? No, I don't want to pull that one up. You got it on your screen? I was, you know, I was just going to, to look for it, and I got to get to the community first. Damn it, I know I commented on the thing. It should be right. I see it in here. There it is. Got it. I got it. You got it. it? All right. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to share my screen again. We'll go back. First, we'll look at your finished product. That's what we'll do first. We'll look at the finished product. <clears throat> screen share. Pull this over here like that. And Watch that screen crash. There we go. All right. What is this shot with? iPhone 5S? This was shot with an iPhone 5S. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. No, no, no extra lenses. Um, I'm actually in about about five feet of water. Mavericks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right, King. <laughs> you're right. This is so this you're in is, five uh, feet of water with your of, iPhone. Yeah, this is taken off of just 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 off the beach at Torrey Pines here in uh, yes. Southern California. So you're out there in, in the freaking surf with your phone. I am in the surf with my phone. I think I got the case. Um, no. Oh, yeah, I do. Uh, no, sorry. The <laughs> case is in another room right now. Okay, so you had it. Uh, I presume when you say case, you want something. The case is protect. called a water shot. Good for 130 oh. feet. Ooh, that's crazy, man. You definitely could have gone to Mavericks and got a, got in the water there. Take your iPhone for 130 feet underwater, really? Yep. Wow. This shot here, man, it, it, it looks like you're pretty much just shooting this thing, and the wave is coming right at you, and you said, Snap. It is. It is coming right at I me. Mean, this is right. This is this is literally right at your face. It's it's so so well done. The color on it looks yeah. great. The clarity. Hold, hold on a second though. I gotta ask. During the shot, uh, during the shoot, Mike, uh, was this playing on some speaker somewhere? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No, he didn't. You, yeah. Yes, I did. He, he would have done that already. I'm going to Actually, I found one. it when you went off to look for the case. <laughs> You're not right. I love this shot, though, but what, what it fascinated me more is how you got this shot. So I'm going to pull up your post here where you took us through your workflow. Um, so this is how the shot started out right here? So the one, on, the, the one with the horizontal line is the what I would call the raw shot or straight out of camera. Mm -hmm. Absolutely no processing was done to it. All right, so there we go. All right. And and you can down. see the very first thing I did is, along with the basic color adjustments, is I mm -hmm. chopped off maybe a third off the bottom. My original intent was to do uh, a pseudo panoramic. Okay. Then once I got that, I got to looking at the, the flicker of the waves on the left, and I go, eh, that doesn't really do much for me. But I love the curl, and I like that little bit of splash where it was just starting to break. Mm -hmm. And again, I do a lot of posting to Instagram, mm -hmm. so I tend to think square. Mm -hmm. And so I figured out where my square crop would be, and that's what the vertical lines are. Okay. Once I got to Instagram, I hit it with one more filter just to kind of polish it up, and that's what mm -hmm. you see there. Love it. And see, right here on this particular screen, I don't think it looks as vibrant. 
But again, we just go right there and bam, that looks outstanding. Yeah. So freaking clear and then just crispy. It, 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 now, so this is this is where smartphones really really shine a lot. That it, it's a it's an underutilized feature, and mm. that is you're shooting at a 2.2 2.4 aperture. Mm-hmm. I'm shooting almost into the sun. Right. I'm just off center a little bit, so it's incredibly bright as far as the phone's concerned. So even at the lowest ISO, which I think is 32. The shutter speed is some outrageous. It's like you know one ten thousandth of a second, something ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Which at that point, it's stop action. I mean, right. it's as good as a, a strobe to stop the 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 uh, motion. Really quick. Yep, and that's why it, it's got that really nice crisp look to it. Mm-hmm. I haven't been able to pull off something that 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 crisp uh-huh. as far as motion going with my smartphone just yet. Now the but other I thing. Keep when you're shooting water like this, mm-hmm. water in itself doesn't have a lot of contrast that's readily apparent. Right. You have to post-process it if you want to get that really cool look to the water. To get, to get some feel to it. Get some, you have you know, to. There is, there is absolutely no way to do a raw shot without... <clears throat> you know, so one thing that helps is you, know, you, you go ahead and you play with the highlight. You pull the highlights down. You pump up the contrast a little bit. Mm-hmm. But in, in, this was in Snapseed, by the way. But mm-hmm. the one thing that really cranks the texture nicely for the water in, in Snapseed is taking structure and just pushing the crap out of it. Not okay. sharpening structure. All right. All right. A different set of math. It, it plays with the edge contrast. Edge it contrast? By the edges. Edge contrast. Not the contrast of the flat part of the image, but the contrast it of looks, the sharp It edges. looks at the image where there's a delta, mm-hmm. and then it, it tries to amplify that delta right on the border of the delta, hence the edge. Oh, wow. If you will, it, it's trying to make it look, uh, for lack of a better term, more Perfect. 3D. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Did not so what you're that. saying is, is this is a combination of having the right piece of hardware to do the job, uh-huh. planning out the shot, the not only artistic flair to pull it off, but the right software and knowing how to work with that software. Yeah, that would be takes, true. It takes an effort. It does take an effort. This wasn't your this just wasn't a snapshot if you will. Uh-huh. That's good stuff, man. So, now, and now I will freely admit that the inspiration for these shots, I, I put up five or six of these pictures, but the inspiration was was wholeheartedly stolen from um, Clark Little, mm. who has made quite the name for himself doing the the picture of the of the curl of the water and he's shooting through the curl. Yeah, but he tends to use a GoPro and right. pull stills from it. Right. Although I saw yeah. I saw him with a big uh, DSLR in one of his shots. So oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, it seems both. like there's a lot of GoPros or people getting stills out of them. Um, yeah, you shoot with 4K GoPro, you can get a nice. Oh stick. yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, I'm seeing a lot of stuff with the GoPros. And by the way, Kelly, you're forgetting what state he's from. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Damn straight. <laughs> you forgot what state he's in. Well, no, I didn't. I was just trying to come up with the most appropriate musical reference that I can think of off the top of my head. I could have gone with the Beach Boys, but, you know, I wanted something slightly more obscure. So not right. (laughs) All right. One more thing I wanted to look at before we go. This particular shot right here, and this is something um, we we talked about it before the hangout started, is I'd like to, I, I, I think I'll try to do this once a week. I'm going to take a random photo. I guess I'll, it's probably best that I take it from my own library so I don't have to worry about rights and permissions and all of that good stuff. But take a random photo from a library and just share it in the community. And you guys do what you want to do with it. I want to see what are your what is your thought process when you go to uh, process this photo at all. If you do any type of touch-ups to it, or if you're going to do some touch-ups and editing, what is it? Why are you doing it? What are you going to? What are you trying to pull off? And so on and so forth. We've had a few people 
already play with this image. Um, and I like the fact that they explain, hey, I did this because A, B, C, D. Now, I have already taken this shot and processed it from my own library. And I'm not going to show it to you, but I can tell you when I did process it, I wanted all of the focus to be more on, more about intimacy with this with this couple here. Because I was out at the airport that day just because I'm, I'm fascinated by watching the airplanes take off. Um, oh, yeah. During my downtime. So I was out there that day watching and just and snapping shots at random. And I'm sitting there by myself and I saw these two here. And it, and it just made me wonder a little bit more about these two. You know, how old are they? Okay. Are they a couple? I'm going to assume yes or no. How long have they been together? You know, how often do they come out here? Why did they come out here? You know, and then I, I just got all of this sense of peace and love just from seeing these two just hanging out out there. And when I took that shot, I looked at that shot there and said, you know what? This does not show the love that these guys are sharing. I'm sorry. So what I ended up doing is, is just I, I did some cropping to put more focus on these guys and, and, and give it a different look from, a, from an intimate standpoint. But that was just my thought. Um, I'm going to try to do something like that, you know, once a week or whatever with the community. And I think I'll start featuring it on the website for the, for the folks to actually go in and put some work on it. So you folks here in this, this hangout tonight, you know, y'all can go in and butcher the shots up and put your own touch on it too, you know. So what are your thoughts on stuff like that? I think I it's it. probably one of the – um, easiest ways to learn for everyone involved because if you didn't take the shot, you sometimes have a different perspective on what it should or shouldn't look like, yep, and it gives you the point. chance to play with your tools that, that you would use to edit to put your own flair on it. For instance, uh, as we've discussed, Mr. Sweeney likes to put an awful lot more um, of a, a color depth and a richer color than I tend to. I tend to have my photos rather pale and, and, and realistic. Um, right. Neither is wrong; they're different. Um, exactly. You know, and and I'm not knocking on you, Sweeney. Um, but right. um, not yeah. going to hurt my feeling. I might. <laughs> uh, I, I just want to say, out of the three people in this, or the four people in this hangout, I'm the only one with hair. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> wow. Wow. Well we, well, we can't fix that. I do have an eject button here. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say I got clippers. Uh, ironically, we so do, do that too. We, we yeah. have clippers um, for you as well. Yeah, but um, no, I, I, I think that that's a great concept, and I like the idea. I didn't see it when you posted it; otherwise, I probably would have grabbed it and downloaded. But I've got a bunch of photos that I haven't done anything with, and I've already shared a folder with you on Google Drive, Ant. Um, some raw stuff that I'll, I'll throw in here. Um, mm -hmm. And um, feel free to post it because most of these are, are ones that I've taken that I just didn't know what to do with and said, you know, what the heck. Nice. I like the idea. What's this because the thing yeah. is, is from a photographer's perspective, it's nice to see what somebody else is going to do with it too. I um, agree. Mm. You know? Well, I like that. You know, uh, I see one thing you have the same interest as I do. I like to go out before you would. Uh, before 9-11, you were allowed to get near our airport and watch the planes fly, take off and land. Mm -hmm. Of course, now you can't do it because uh, they don't know what you're up to. But see, before then, I used to that, and we at Intercontinental used to have a uh, parking lot you can go on the top. with a get a camera with a good telephoto lens. I used to take pictures of planes. I could sit there for hours. You can't do that anymore, unfortunately. I swear we well I'm fortunate we still have our little lookout here available at CLT. Um, it's still it's still a fair distance away from the runway, but yet it's close enough now, to see and close enough to get a feel, you know. And, and I, hooks, I still go out there. And mm -hmm. shoot. At hooks we can do that because that's a private airport. About as big as a plane will come in is a um, citation. That's about right. as big as you can land on that. And there right. is a place that the uh, Air National Guard has their helicopters for their Hueys. Right. So I go out there quite a bit, but you can still do that. It's fun stuff. What's, and this is the water shot you got there, Sweeney? Looks like it. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I just want to show see. people that um, you can buy a cheap case or you can buy a real case. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that is definitely real. Oh this, yeah, this, this is this is built with the same materials that the DSLR cases are built from, uh, sealed the same way, uh, and, and they've even added a couple things, which is kind of cool. So this clamshell right here, the little hinge, when it mm -hmm. latches on top, it's actually got a button that when you want to unlatch it, you have to slide the button and hold it for it to unlatch. So, so there's, there's really no way for you there. to undo that latch accidentally underwater. All right. That's what's <laughs> up, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, protecting yeah. that equipment there. I mean, they, Actually, they, yeah. out of all the cases I've used, this, this is my favorite one for shooting in the water. And, and no, they didn't the give iPhone. me a case. I had to pay for mm -hmm. it. So this is a satisfied <laughs> customer. That's okay. Not a sponsor. That's right. <laughs> well, no uh, disclaimer needed. The way things are looking, uh, the iPhone owners, you won't have you won't have old iPhones. A lot of companies are now starting to do this, that you just keep paying a monthly fee for your phone, and they'll just give you the new phone. But you have to turn the the old one back in. Yeah, it's about like leasing it, basically. Yeah. They're starting. I know. Um, see, Sprint's doing that. T-Mobile's doing that. I think uh, by the time the new phones come out, they're gonna all the companies can do that. It's gonna be interesting. Yeah. You just pay your monthly. Uh, keep your have your everything your monthly thing, and they'll they said they'll lower some stuff, and they call it iPhone for life. <laughs> All right. All right. So I'm going to allow you gentlemen to sign off and let everyone know where we can find your wonderful smartphone photography and other projects that you work on throughout the many hours of the day and night because I know none of y'all sleep. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start with you, Mr. King. I can be found. It, all my work is either on Google Plus or uh, Flickr at Michael King 4023 and then Saturday – You'll find me at Carter's Country at the range. That a boy, shoot it up. <laughs> yep, shoot my, I'm taking. I'm taking even though I can't do it in the fun mode, but I'm taking my M thir, my M sixteen A two. I nice. they won't allow me to do it in the fun mode, but I can still one shot at a time. <laughs> <laughs> you got it bad. Nice. You got it bad. Next up, my man Mike Sweeney out in California. Hey hey hey. Well, you can find me at www.msmedia.me, as it says, right across the bottom in the lower thirds. Mm -hmm. if, if you want to play around and uh, check out my, my almost daily postings on Instagram, you can find me at Mike Sweeney Media. And uh, that's, that's where you'll see all my square crops. And you'll be overwhelmed by sun, sunrise pictures as I'm out as a crazy man running at 4, you know, 5 a.m. or whatever the hell it is. Yeah, you keep that, <laughs> I'm still <bro>. still late. <laughs> Yeah, you keep that. <laughs> that I did post a sunset picture the other day because I actually had to do it about 7.30 in the evening. Mm, that sounds more like it. Jeez. Yes. <laughs> grief. All right. So www.msmedia.me. Appreciate you. Me. Appreciate you hanging out with us, brother. Always a pleasure. All right. And lastly, my man, Mr. Joey Kelly. Well, a uh, little tip I just literally just discovered as I'm picking through my photo collection looking for some to send you. Did you know that if you go into Picasa on your PC and type into the search box HTC or I presume Motorola or iPhone or anything else, it will actually find all of the pictures that you have taken with that particular brand of smartphone camera. That's not common knowledge. Apparently not. I didn't know that. <laughs> That's because you're ignorant. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Uh, I never right tried it before because I never needed to. Um, I right didn't think that was common too. knowledge. Well, pardon <laughs> moi. Well, no, I, I mean, that so that anyway, a lot of the software today, because of all the EXIF data and stuff, you, you, you can literally just search for whatever. Well, yeah. The 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 problem was that I thought it was gonna it was gonna look for file names with HTC. File name that, yeah. You know, and and it's not. It's going off the EXIF data, and that's mm -hmm. you know, for my purposes. That's a heck of a lot better. Um, yeah. So. 
We'll say. Anyways, but uh, you can uh, find my life centrally located at Joey J O E Y Kelly K E L L E Y dot com. Um, and amongst other things, I am a full time uh, IT services provider, remote and uh, in person support. If you happen to live in Maine, which I don't think anybody does, so oh well. Uh, but uh, one thing I do uh, specialize a lot for uh, a lot with is uh, doing backup strategies for photographers. So uh, that is something that I have a bit of expertise on. So if you want to consult or want to look at something, I am available. And you can find me uh, at Joey, J-O-E-Y, Kelly, K-E-L-L-E-Y dot com. All right. Mr. Kelly, thank you as usual for hanging out with this, my man. Oh, a genuine pleasure. I, re- I rearrange my schedule to come here and get abused by Sweeney every week. That's what I'm talking about. That's, that's yeah. dedication. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Or, Lastly, I guess, I'm not sure which. <laughs> I was going to guess that it was one or the other. Um, I'm not really sure myself. Uh, Good Dan's wondering how he's going to edit this now. Yeah, this, yeah I, I, I give up on the edit and just let it fly, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Same thing the dog. Fan. It's uh, the fan. Lastly, myself. Find me pretty much anywhere online. Just look up Ant Pruitt and you will find me. Uh, you can even go to antpruitt.com to look at my little personal blog. Um, it will have a mix of photography stuff to mindless whatever's on my brain kind of stuff. Um, every now and then I'll throw some techno stuff in there too. But if you have a short attention span, jump on over to the YouTube channel where you can find not only these hangouts that we do every week, there's a playlist for them, but we also have a, a bunch of different playlists uh, regarding tips and tricks and so forth, and just my other mindless videos over there. So that's for, for you that just have really, really short attention spans and don't want to read anything. Trust me, I know you're out there. I'm one of them. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if you're curious about joining the smartphone photographers community hosted here on Google+, Plus, look up myself or any of these folks in this, this uh, hangout tonight and um, we can get you set up with an invite. I will go ahead and tell you now. What's going to happen is we will do a little semi-background check on you just to make sure you're someone that will fit into this community because it's not just people that wants to spam off photos. This is people. These are people that want to show their work but also show how they did this. You know, We, we want people that's going to be able to share some of their knowledge and pass it along to other community members. So we're all getting better at this craft. You know what I'm saying? All right. Find us each and every Thursday. Well, I ain't going to say every Thursday, but we try uh, on Thursdays, Most Thursdays. at uh, 9 p.m. Eastern time. That's, again, that's Thursdays. 9 p.m. Eastern time is our scheduled start time. Sometimes it'll be a little after that, but it's all good. And um, Again, check out the website, smartphone-photographers.com. You will see the Hangouts as a rerun there, and also other little blog posts such as the My Proudest Shot and, coming soon, My Edit hashtags. So thank you folks for watching. We appreciate all the support. Be sure Hawaiian to shirts are like. <laughs> no, 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 no. The Hawaiian shirt is not a prereq, I promise. <laughs> it's not a prereq. Appreciate you realize you the rest of us are going to go out and get Hawaiian shirts, and you're going to be the odd man out next week. And I will be totally fine with being an odd man out. <laughs> Matter of fact, I got a silk one here in my office. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, folks, be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to hit subscribe and tell a friend, tell an enemy, and let us know what you think about the wonderful world of smartphone photography and the tips and tricks that we can share with you. We'll catch you all in the next one. Appreciate you watching.